Hi guys, uh, Nick from Wi-Fi Collective. So we've already showed you how to do an XLR to XLR lead, female to male. So now this one is for you guys that want to do XLR to a, a tip ring sleeve. You're going to be using a Switchcraft stereo quarter inch jack, which is an SWC297. So and again, we're going to be using the Van Damme twin core cable. So I'm going to strip it back. Obviously you can see all this gubbins. The insulated sleeve goes on. We're assuming that the other end you may, might have your XLR, so always good practice to get those on there as well. Okay, so I'm gonna take it back to about there. Sharp stand me. Just for glasses. Hold on guys. Got them. Just be careful around here. We don't cut the wires or expose any back. Get rid of all the um, padding that goes inside these cables. Try not to snip any, any of the conductors. Like a bit of a mess of this. What I need is, so it would be really good, it would be like toenail clippers or something. Not the ones, but like scissors. Uh, central there now. Cool. Let's get this in here so we can get station links. So the connector's ready for soldering up but you might be thinking, oh, which one is which, connector-wise? So, just to go through it, this is your earth. Now, these clamp up around the cable, but we do that at the end. Um, this one is the right channel, so we wire that to the red. And this one here is the left channel, so we wire that to the blue. Now, this is where you have to think about what you're up to for the cable lengths. So, that's about right. So I'm gonna make sure that I wire it, solder it there at the end. Actually, no, I want it to clamp around the, the whole thing. So I'm going to wire it there, solder it there. You see that there? That's where I'll do the soldering. But obviously, you don't wanna be soldering it while this is touching the metal that you're heating because it will melt it. So you're gonna come around from the other side. So, I'm happy with the other lengths. So I'm just gonna tin, tin all the wires really. So all that. Again using the, uh, the, the Mundorf 3.8 silver gold. Just, just. The reason you pre-solder these tin them is they'll fray. If you go in there with bare wire, watch your strand, they'll fray the wire everywhere. And then, if you recall, we were gonna solder about there. Get, this stuff is so hairy. So we're gonna solder there. Cool. So I'm gonna do it, do it like this. There, so you'll see I'm coming from this angle, which you might think is odd, but you don't wanna melt the, solder, the sleeving of the main wire. That's done. So we'll just let it cool down because you don't want to melt the sleeving. And then you can come round, push it down, 
Yeah. You can squeeze it with pliers later. It's still warm, so I won't do it yet. It's going to snip this fibre off. So this one is your right channel and your red. So poking through there. Easily soldered. Yeah. Another one. Comes up through there. See it coming around the other side. Oh. Now, as there's a sleeving over this, I'm just going to trim it down a bit. That's all soldered. Do you want to make sure nothing's touching? No, no kind of strands of wire are connecting anything. Yes, yeah, good. So, push, get some wire. Down a bit. Give it a good old clap. Right, so you can see here, it's all wired in. Nothing's touching. The earth's on its own. Right channel's on its own, left's on its own. Okay, so, job done. Oh, well, let me just show you something. Just a simple check with the meter to show you how these things are wired. If you've got a multimeter, put on the resistance setting there. Low. So, as I was saying, this is your earth. Touch it there. That's your earth part. That's your the right. So there, it's the tip connected. And there's your um, left. So that's the, the ring. Boom. Right. Okay, so let's just seal up the connector. There's your sleeve in. Goes over the whole lot, like that. That's obviously to stop any, any of the um, electrical signal stuff touching this, which in, in turn is earthed. And then Boom. So now we're moving on to unbanded cable RCA to XLR. So with this one, we're using um, a two conductor screen cable, the and down that we have been using earlier. And this, this connects up a particular way to the, the XLR. So stripping it down, just to gauge how much we need to cut off. Say about that. Drop it on. Don't cut too deep. Let's just remind ourselves that we can let some in. Cool. strippers for the conductors. Oh, you could use the soldering iron. So the soldering iron will melt the PTFE. It's just a bit messy really. Sometimes you get some nasty old smoke coming out like this. Okay, so it's pretty heat resistant, so I won't do that one. Cool. Let's turn on. Again with the Mundorf sort of gold solder. Normally when I'm soldering, I'll have the LEV higher up around here, but just for this video, I'm not going to do it that way. So you can see what, what we are actually doing. Okay. 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 
realized on this particular solder you're um, supposed to join the red and the blue together which you would generally do that while it wasn't soldered this makes it a bit easier just give it a twist now do you? cool it's done in the, the earth point there. Try and be quick because you don't want to melt the sleeving. And then that has to be soldered to there. So it comes from this end. Done. And then the two conductors inside. So now you're ready to clamp the main cable. I always use pliers that have got some teeth in them because they'll grip it as you bring it round. So there you are. Perfect. And then the other end. Obviously you have to put this on if you've got something at the other end first. You put this on first before you do the soldering. Many a time I haven't done that, so I've had to desolder everything to get the end piece on. So, there you go. So then the other end is ready for your XLR.